What is this? Could it possibly be the long-awaited almost two years of Cyberfrog? I know inside this envelope there must be at least 17 pages of beautiful artwork. I can't wait to open this. I just hope, I hope that the post office has not ruined this masterpiece. Let's open it up and find out. Okay, fellow YouTubers and fellow comic skaters, let's dig into this envelope and see what Ethan has been telling us all about. Now, while I'm doing this, I want to tell you that I have been following Ethan for quite some time, even before he started thinking about doing this cyber frog crowdfunding uh, little bit. And at the time when he first started, I'll be honest with you, I really couldn't justify the, the cost. But as time went on and things started to get a little bit better, I decided, you know what, I didn't want to miss out. I wanted to at least have a copy of this, at least to read it, if nothing else. And um, to say the least, I'm glad that I did. And um, so here we are. Now, the first thing I want to look at is what the post office may have done to this book. And right now, I think that everything is going to look okay here. Fortunately, we've got this wrapped in... Uh, plastic with the cardboard backing like you would any normal comic book and um, right off the bat this cover is just amazing um, no it's not chromium but I don't know that to be honest with you that this cover would even look good in chromium uh, with all the colors and the stuff that Kyle Ritter has put on here uh, Ethan I mean this artwork is what I've seen you do in Superman, in uh, Green Lantern, um, this this detail, this this attention to detail, is uh, something that you just don't see in most uh, or from most comic book artists. Um, you spend your time getting the dimensions right, um, the angles, the perspective, um, and yeah, you know what. So what if it took a little bit longer? You know, I was busting your balls a little bit about it being two years old, but you and I both know it's only been about 11 months. And to be honest with you, you promised us 48 pages, and uh, you gave us almost double that. So uh, I'm happy to have it here. I'm happy to see that uh, there's no damage. Um, let's go ahead and slip it out of this pack and get a look at this comic I'm not gonna be like you Ethan in most of your videos where you're rough on everything you open I actually take my time when I open something and uh, the last thing we want is this piece of tape to stick to the front cover um, I will not be a happy camper if that happens All right, here we go. All right, already I like the fact that this cover is not super high gloss. Um, it makes it makes the colors and the drawing a little bit more realistic, at least in my opinion. We got your all caps logo on the back, which I think we'll be seeing a lot more of eventually. Cover is really thick, and some guy wrote in my book, I do want to complain about that, um, you know, you could at least put it to me in my name, but I'm going to let you slide this time, but next time I see you, uh, we need to fix this, okay? Cyber Frog Blood Honey. 
Created and written and illustrated by Ethan Van Skyver, colored by Kyle Ritter, lettered by Somnia. Great colors. This is the page that you've been showing all of us. And uh, Ethan, I hope you're not going to copyright me uh, for showing some of these pages, but I think since you've... Uh, you're sending them out to the world here. Um, I think you'll be all right with me flipping through some of these. Yeah, these colors are really popping. These drawings, this the attention to detail, man. No wonder, no wonder it took you as long as it took you to do it, man. And um, I don't blame you for sweating the details and uh, and giving us something worth uh, waiting for. There's Heather's page that we've seen. Looks really great, really great. Let's flip back to the back here. I don't want to give the ending away, of course. Got some extras in the back. Wow. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to read it. This is not really a review of the story itself. Uh, maybe I'll do that later. Um, but yeah, yeah, um, five stars on the book so far, Ethan, and, uh, we got the little extras in here, uh, should be the bookmark and the sticker, and, uh, see if I can scoot this out here without, there we go, trading cards, the promo cards, um, I probably will open these, but not now. Um, bookmark, we'll be needing that in here so I can find my page and the, the window clean, I will have to, uh, find somewhere nice to put that. So Ethan, um, the book finally made it. Thank you so much. And I will give it a read and possibly do a review and, um, just know that, uh, in South Carolina, your creation is um, made it here, and uh, it's it's looks like it's going to be spreading everywhere. Uh, I'm still a little beat up uh, about the fact that people in UK got this, perhaps before I did. So I don't know how that happened, but I'm gonna I'm just we're just gonna let that slide for now. But uh, I'm gonna take this book. I'm gonna get on the couch. Uh, I'm gonna give it a good read, and uh, maybe we'll do a review later. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to treat myself to some pecan pie. And see, Ethan, it's all about portion control, okay? You don't have to eat the whole pie. Just eat a smaller version of it. See you later, Ethan. Thanks.